So, for those of you who know me, you know about my obsession with royalty. Any blonde or anything. My favorites include Kate Middleton, Harry, William, Queen Elizabeth, and Nate Richardson. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm the Prince of the Acoustics. These were Nate's first words to me at my callbacks. <laughs> That. I can easily say Nate is one of my favorite royals. Yes, you even beat Kate. <laughs> um, I made every effort to get as close to Prince Nate of the Acoustics, and I feel truly honored to have spent that time with him. In all seriousness, Nate's completely straight-faced, regal introduction made me realize the Acoustics were truly the goofy, fun, accepting group they really are. The relationship I have with Nate was faith from the very beginning. Nate was actually the very first BC student I ever spoke with. The first time I met him, I was a junior in high school, separated from my tour group, wandering around an option. He noticed my mom and I and took the time out of his day to ensure me I would enjoy wherever I went to college. You had a gentle, authentic way about you that made me want to be friends with you. I walked away from that conversation and didn't see Nate, and Nate again for three years in my audition, where he emulated the same kindness through smiling eyes. Nate is one of those people that you feel completely comfortable with right away, which is so particularly crucial for socially awkward people like me. <laughs> Early on in our friendship, he asked me for acting and audition advice. I acted cool about it, but inside I was both nervous and so tremendously flattered he had asked me for advice. The weird theater kids that we are, we ran lines during the Super Bowl run. I watched Nate so naturally deliver his monologue. He was spot on, but me trying to sound pro professional, pointed out a couple of things that could change. Nate is incredibly passionate, natural, and flat out meant to be on stage. Nate's passion for the performing arts shines through not only when he performs, but also when he listens to our music. Nate has an incredible appreciation for good music, which he expresses very well. For example, the other day while rehearsing Creep, Ben hits his amazing high section in the middle, which he does consistently every time he sings it, um, and Nate bursts out ball. Uh, I turned, embraced him, enjoyed a classic Nate squeeze, and was almost driven to tears. Nate reminded me of the power of music, which we often forget while running the same songs repeatedly. Nate's apparent emotions brought me to thinking how ridiculously lucky I am to sing to all the talented people in this room, which we often take for granted. It takes a person as talented and expressive as Nate to remind us of these facts. Nate brings the musical theater flair to the acoustics, which even people who don't enjoy musical theater enjoy. You are the quirky, wonderfully weird, fearless, and talented theater kid we can all relate to in some way or another. Nate, you will be greatly missed next year. Who else can provide us with laughs, awe, a shoulder to cry on, bear hugs, someone to burst into show tunes with, talk about dogs with, gossip, try failing diets and exercise routines with, <laughs> and just plain be yourself. I am so glad you are not leaving the Boston area anytime soon. We wish you the best of luck for pursuing your graduate studies at the Boston Conservatory. Nate, I have no doubt you will go far with whatever you set your mind to. I love you and will miss you very, very much. <laughs>